Clemson's still in the mix for an offensive lineman for the 2024 recruiting class, Elijah Thurman. We'll talk about him, the impact of the coaching changes, his experiences here at Clemson, and how Clemson can beat Georgia Tech and South Carolina for the recruitment. That much and more here on The Morgan Thomas Show. Looks like it's morphin' time. This is my house. I built this. This is my house, and this will always be my house. Now let's continue. Because I love me some me. I love me some me. To be the man, you got to beat the man. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. And now, The Morgan Thomas Show. What's up, Tiger fans? Morgan here, back again with another quick video about your Clemson Tigers. And today I wanted to discuss Elijah Thurman, who's going to be making his commitment soon to his college of choice. Four-star overall offensive tackle. We'll get into that. Before we do, make sure you like this video if you like the video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week. All right, I want to take a look at his player profile, maybe check out a couple of videos from his most recent uh, high school season, and then give you some thoughts on some issues that have happened or some things that have happened so far this season with replacement of the offensive line coach. Um, specifically looking at Elijah Thurman, offensive tackle, six foot five, 278 pounds from Bradwell Institute in Hinesville, Georgia, class of 2024. Overall right now, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, he is a four-star, 372nd in the country, uh, 22nd best inside offensive lineman, 43rd best player in Georgia, and he has 22 total offers. Looking at those offers, he's got those from South Carolina, Clemson, Coastal, Duke, Florida, LSU, Georgia Tech, Liberty, Missouri, uh, Central Florida, and a bunch of others as well. When you take a look at him, and I look at his film just on on the from the junior season to the senior season. When you look at his junior season, you'll see a ton of him playing left tackle, which I really like and enjoy that because you want to have your guys that are going to be your top offensive linemen. At high school, they should be getting reps at left tackle, in my opinion. Now, when you take a look at what he's done as a senior, he kind of flips over and goes into becoming a center and hiking the ball uh, for his team. So I like that too because that shows some diversity diversity in his skills between the offensive line positions there. Um, when you look at his overall measurables, he meets the measurables that you'd be looking for. You want around a six foot five, two hundred eighty pound guy. You're looking for a few keys. You're looking for someone who's dominating the line of scrimmage, who's not getting pushed back who's able to get five yards down the field. At times, he's able to get at the second level, uh, and he he displays a good balance. And even in this kind of offense with Clemson, you know you want somebody that can be athletic and move around a ton. So let's take a look at some of his junior season highlights first. Then we'll switch over to two games, two of his most recent games from his senior season highlights. All right, here we go. Left tackle from Bradwell Institute. Um, you can see here, lines up, gets the pull, gets a great block, and just brings his man to the ground just with some violence there, making a huge run for the running back there. Again, here, left tackle. Again, this is the this is junior season highlights. Has a good base, uses his feet well. Move, he, guy works to the inside, and he keeps his position. So good job there. Another one here against Jenkins High School. Off the snap, really strong. Doesn't allow the guy to get to the outside. So looks like the guy had a good, strong first step, explosive off the outside, but he recovered and got him to the ground quickly. Now here he's out in space on a wide receiver screen. You know you want to see that from somebody who's going to be at the Clipson offense, get used to doing those type of screens. He plants his guy again. So again, beating up the guy in front of him, uh, I think he checks that box. Here's another one. He's moving the guy all the way to the locker room. Another good clip there. Can't really tell where he's at here. He Again, here he is coming out from the left tackle for another wide receiver screen. Footwork, agility, ability to get to the outside, five yards down the field, get to that second level. He can be used in those pulls. Wow, it just immediately throws the guy down and gets another pop in there for extra measure. Off the snap, a little early it seemed like, but got a first step. I like that he seems to 
uh, get leverage really well when the guy makes his initial move to the inside or outside. He's shown clips where he's planting a guy inside or outside no matter what he does. So he seems to be skilled not just on one direction, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's take a look at some stuff from uh, his game against McIntosh County Academy. Here he is playing center. And he hikes the ball and just, you know, again, just lays out his defender in front of him. Another snap here, shotgun formation. Um, just really hard to get m moved off the ball at the high school level. We'll see how it transitions into to college, but he has that body mass that just makes him very difficult to manipulate at all for the defense. Now, these guys look a little bit smaller than him. Here he is getting initial block and coming off quickly to, to be able to be a force out in the wide receiver screen again. Pass protection, good. A ton of clips from pass protection. We've only really seen one or two clips from run blocking. So that would be my first thing that I'm, I'm seeing that I'm – not seeing yet. Maybe we'll we'll get something that comes up here soon. Here's a good run block. He gets down the field and he continues to go. So yeah, good. Now we're seeing a mix of the run blocking here. Again, gets out to the outside quickly and helps his team on the screen. So he's he has a lot of reps with screens. He has a lot of reps with pass protection. A lot of reps left tackle as a junior. A lot of reps as a as a center as a senior, so um, very versatile type guy, hard to move around, violent with his hands, intelligent with a move to the inside or outside, and then again, he kind of ragdolls you there at the end. That's one of his favorite things to do, it seems. And here's a final clip from McIntosh. Another just very hard to get past the guy. All right, so that's Elijah Thurman again, four-star offensive tackle, six foot five, two seventy-eight, give or take, uh, right there where you want the measurables to be for a guy like him for the offensive line position. Now, now we looked at his film, we looked at his player profile, but here's some things that I wanted to discuss specifically with with Clemson as a team. Now we know that there's an impact to the coaching changes that just recently happened. The recent firing of offensive line coach Thomas Austin could have been a potential setback for Clemson, but I do feel like that the quick replacement of highly regarded coach Matt Luke has probably helped Clemson get back in the mix for Elijah Thurman. When you look at some of the quotes that he has on TigerNet and other places, Thurman has a positive reaction to this change. It's He says, quote, he's fired up because I think when you hire a guy like Matt Luke, that is a national hire. That is a big-time hire. That is a legendary coach, someone who has worked his way up from being a positional coach to a recruiting coordinator to an offensive coordinator to a head coach. And he's won a national championship being an offensive line coach. So I think that the transition, while it could present a setback, in this case, because of the hire that Dabo Sweeney made, I think it actually probably helped. Let me know what you think in the comments because I feel like it helped. As long as Luke can get in there and develop a relationship quickly, he doesn't have a ton of time. He was just hired on Monday. He's got a week to go to make a, a good impact. I know that Clemson seems to be the front runner right now. Um, Thurman visited during the Georgia Tech game, and he seemed like he had a good time. Obviously, that was the game where... Tyler Brown made it a ridiculous one-handed catch, so that's got to be a positive there. Clemson won a big game there. Uh, but when you come to Luke, he mentions specific players like Laramie Tunsil and Broderick Jones, and you got to feel like that's a, that's a positive as well. He's obviously had some contact with either Dabo Sweeney or Matt Luke, and they've talked about his, his track record, his resume, and the players that he has developed while he's been an offensive line coach. So I think that that helps overall. When you look at Thurman's emphasis on the campus life and his experiences as a player and how the coaching staff is going to treat him, I think Clemson has an advantage there too because Dabo Sweeney has a well-established reputation of being a family-like atmosphere at Clemson. The success of the program, the national championships that Clemson has – are different and a big differentiator between the other teams that he's looking at, like Georgia Tech and South Carolina. 
Now, the one thing about South Carolina is, though, he's going to take a visit before his announcement on Monday. So he's going to take a visit. I think he's going to take his family there as well. So South Carolina is going to get that last look and that last attempt to, to get him to commit to the university. Could Clemson still hold on strong with the new changes and, and the strong hire of Matt Luke? I think they still have a strong opportunity there. They definitely need an offensive lineman uh, because this class was very light in that. Thomas Austin was not having very much success in recruiting this for the 2024 recruiting class, so they definitely need that position and they need to land a guy there. Can Thurman be that guy? Only time will tell. We'll see. I'd love to get your thought comments in the, um, or thoughts in the comments and um, let me know what you think. How do you think about Thurman? What do you think about when, him when you see his film? Do you feel like he'll fit Clemson's style of play? What do you think about the hiring of Matt Luke? And do you think it positively or negatively impacted the situation here considering there's only one week to go? Again, love to get your thoughts and concerns out there in the comments. I'll make sure to reply back to you. And as always, Tiger fans, we'll see you at the top of the hill.